flight is not cool. <laughs> My baby girl, there's no need to look further. You are the most beautiful 14 year old girl in the entire world. The chief flatterer is here. But I'm stating the obvious. Mm? My love. So tell me, how many A's are we expecting? A's, A's. A lot of them. In fact, in all of them. It's just why there's nothing difficult there. That's my genius. <laughs> You've always been smarter than Koyo your age. I guess it runs in the genes. Of course it does. <laughs> <laughs> so... Have you eaten? Mm. The chef tipped me that you specifically demanded I eat a lot. Mm -mm. Don't make it sound so cruel. <sighs> Have you forgotten that I attended a boarding school? So I know what your food looks like. Mm -hmm. See, um, my baby girl, I want them to feed you well because what you eat matters. I know, I know very well about uh, healthy living and all that. Mm -hmm. That's the key word. Healthy living. My darling, go in, eat your food, and have some smoothies. Okay, mom, I will, but where is dad? My dad? He's not back. Oh. The senator invited him for a house party. Oh. So okay. I would have gone with him, but I had to stay back because of your return. Mm. So that is just the chilling room. Mm. He didn't, he didn't I'm not even... missing him at all. <laughs> there is no chilling that is more than having you here. <laughs> Aww. Adam, mm. my sweet girl. Mm. You are my avalanche of hope. Ah, you know, I couldn't have asked for a better word maniac for a mother. My daughter, I love you so much. I love you too, mom. Okay. <laughs> the party was late. The senator introduced me to one of the stupidly rich guys, but very silent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how is Jane, his wife? I hope uh, you sent my regards. Of course I did. And Jane sent her regards to me, to you and Adam. Mm, that's lovely. Yes. So you said the senator did six this time. Sixty solid billion naira. How? <laughs> Please, uh, where do these people get these monies? We are just saying this because why? Wow, you've not even seen the new client who mm -hmm. does twenty-two billion naira quarterly. Hey. Oh yes. But guess what? I. Increased our percentage to seven. <laughs> hey! Although, who, I, I, who I, I, said I, that you are not the best in the world? The person must be mad to think of it. Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. This calls for celebration. Of course. I think we have to open that our branch in seashells so that we will stop using the postal officer. Hmm? Let's take our destiny into our hands. You are very, very right this time. You are very right. You know what? Mm -hmm. Clear your table. Next week, seashell. Got us. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what? There is another good news. I can't wait to hear that. You see, this is your daughter. Mm -hmm. She is very optimistic that she is going to clear her papers. Oh, it is. Just brilliant like her father. Mm. <laughs> the kid is brilliant. Mm. You know, we need to pull our strings now because Ada is a Harvard material. Mm -mm -mm. Don't tell me that you want to send my 14-year-old girl to America to study alone. No. You are going with her. You know, we'll be using the post office, but we need somebody there. And that person is you because you know their laws. Mm -hmm. We must be meticulous about this. Mm. Master strategist. Can I say that again? You should have told me that you have it all planned out. Because if you don't plan to succeed, you plan to fail. Hmm. <laughs> you can say that again. Yes. You are the husband that the world needs. And you are the only one to have that best. Hey! <laughs> hey, thank you so much, my dear husband. Okay. 
but you didn't miss this one. I want an executive travel to seashells. I want it customized. I want you to get a musician and one Instagram influencer. The customization of the jet will have the face of the musician, while the trip will have the face of the influencer. Diplomatic, no searches at the arrival wing. I hope your contacts are still very much effective. Hard currency. Put the bills to my personal tab. Thank you. Stop you. But you have just you <laughs> can only disturb you. Okay. So I want to ask you a question. Why do you want me to study international business studies? <sighs> you see, we are building an international brand. You will be the person to take over. Oh. Yes. Okay. So to be prepared. That's really nice. Well, you know, I have a thing for computing and medical science. That is good. Very, very good. But then, you know that, that every international business is computer-based. Mm -hmm. So you can always bring the two together. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I have another question. Sorry. Yeah, How did this restaurant start? Well, it started long ago. Okay. It wasn't easy. In fact, most of the people we started with are nowhere to be found today. That's a lesson. Oh, yes. It's not everyone you start a journey with that will end it with you. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dad, what's the vision of this whole business? All right, now listen. We want to export African food to every part of the world. Okay. Just like the Chinese are doing, you know, Chinese food everywhere, like mm. the Chinese fries, the noodles. Yes, everywhere. like the Dubai, um, in Dubai, the one I ate in Dubai during the Dubai Expo. Precisely. Yes. <laughs> so we want our own a very strong brand mm. that will go across the world because have Africans all over the world. Yes. So if they can identify with our food, mm -hmm. we are there. That's really nice, Dad. You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> so. All these ideas, the whole brain behind the business, it's you? Yes. I'm the one that some of them. That is why you oh. must be prepared academically to take over. You know what? Harvard will do that for you. Seriously? Yes. Thank you so much, Dad. <laughs> Thank you My so much. Harvard MD. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, once I take over the business and the brand, I will handle it with care and I will make good decisions. Beautiful. We are using this. Yes. <laughs> like daughter, like father. Yes, like father, like daughter. I trust you. Thank mm. you. My Harvard MD. MD. <laughs> Thank you. Now you see what? What? Let me finish this. That's a particular article I'm Reading okay, finish let's finish it together. So, where are you reading? Don't disturb me. I won't. Let's just read it together. And let's check the movement of the shares in the capital market. How was it, Matt? And I was fine. And I was good. How was yours? I was great. Okay. Hey, Dad, <laughs> do you know about that um, coup that happened in Gabon? Not just in Gabon, in Niger, Mali, and other places. Yes. yes, I know. I don't understand why they're celebrating. Coup is supposed to be a bad thing. Yeah, coup is a bad thing, but people are celebrating because the politicians have disappointed them. They're not giving them good leadership, mm. no clear leadership. So they are not too happy with them. And they believe now that the military have come in 
it is going to help them mm. or give them good life. That's why they're still rejecting. Wow. So are you saying democracy is totally bad for... Not at all. It's not bad. But in the popular saying, we have a popular saying that the worst democracy is better than the best military regime. Oh, okay. But because the politicians are disappointed, people are not happy. I see. Yes. So they're basically celebrating because democracy in Africa has been polluted by all these bad leaders? Uh, yes, you can say that again. And because they believe that the incoming native people, we cannot give them a good government. That's why they're celebrating. Okay. I just pray our leaders will get it right. We hope that the coming generation, people <laughs> like you, we pick it up and make it good. But Ada, you ask so much questions. Do you intend to be a politician? No, no, I don't even want to. I'm not interested in being a politician. I just want to be politically conscious, you understand, know, what is happening in the government, and be aware. That's good. But I'm not convinced with your answer because I see that fire, fire of leadership. No. In <laughs> Yes, I have fire of leadership, but not to rule the country. Hmm. I'm not interested. Your yeah, Excellency. No, I'm not. First Nigerian female president. <laughs> I'm not Her saying. Excellency, Ada Chede. The <laughs> father of Her Excellency that doesn't want to be Her Excellency. I am the first father of Nigeria. We are the first female president. But seriously. Ah, my president. Seriously. My Daddy, president. I just want to focus on business and, you know, my private stuff and still the day well, I don't know. From business, you go into politics because power, power determines a lot. A politician or politicians determines what happens in the business world. Oh, okay. Yes, your policies changes with the politicians and from the politicians to the people. See you, see you. Excellent. Hello, honey. You didn't come back early as promised. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had some engagements. Mm -mm. Anyway, everything is in play. The celebrities? Contacted and payments made. Where are other passengers? Um, I'm dragging in my minister friend for diplomatic presence. That's mad. The judge lands 10 minutes before the allotted time. Mr. Invisible needs just three minutes to make the transfer. Once you're within the borders of seashells, that's all, baby. Then we'll arrange a meeting with seashells show promoters so that the celebrities will feel useful of themselves. Absolutely. It's a win-win situation. And I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Same here, baby. Later. All right. Bye. See you soon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How is your wife, Ngozi, and your kids? Ah, they're all fine. They're all fine. They're doing good. Uh, what is the situation of this? Um... I have gone through the FIRS audit notice thoroughly. And then um, I discovered that um, there is a pressing matter we need to address immediately. I thought we are in control, we have finished everything. Hmm. Um, the FIRS are requesting for papers of incorporation of your company. And then they've given us two weeks for their own auditing purpose. So, uh, I can't, I don't even know where these papers are. I believe they must be in one of the storages, but I don't know exactly where they are. You see, um, failing to provide those documents within the specified time frame could lead to a serious consequence. And if that paper is not provided, it will be assumed that um, your company 
is not a legitimate entity and it can lead to aggressive audits, penalty or legal action. What are you doing? Please, what do we do? I mean, can't we get an alternative solution? What do we do, please? We need to act fast. Yes. First of all, we have to ask for an extension of time. You understand? We need to ask for extension of time. Simultaneously, we are going to request the services of um, an archivist to help us locate those papers of incorporation. And once we have them, we're good to go with the FIR rights. Thank you very much, yes. Mr. Sude. I don't know what I would have done without your guidance. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. <sighs> Okay, that's fine. It's okay. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as I hear from the lawyer. Just take this. Thank you so much. Uh, Mom, what is this FIRS thing that is giving Dad sleepless nights? Did he say something about that? No, he didn't actually. I overheard him talking with the lawyer, but I didn't hear much, but I know that since then he has not been himself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. How do we even go from here? You know, I and your dad have invested in so many businesses. Mm-hmm. Yes, and he even told me how it all started. Anyway, we received a notice from the FIRS. Yeah. They are conducting an audit. They want us to give them something called the Certificate of Incorporation. Certificate? It's not a problem. Let's just look for it, give it to them, and go away. As, as long as the business is registered. It's, it's registered, right? Of course mm -hmm. it is, but we don't have the papers. Who has it? Who is holding the paper? Where is it? Oh, we've looked for it everywhere, but couldn't find it. Uh -huh. And you know these people, if we don't give them the papers, it will seem as if our businesses are illegitimate. So, and it will mean so much trouble for us, which may warrant fines or penalties. In fact, we are in a very difficult situation right now. Okay, then I, I want to help. How do we look for the papers? Like, where do we start? <laughs> it is only one person that I know that has the papers. Who is the person? Let's let's call the person and invite the person to bring the papers. That's all. She is dead. Her name is Mrs. Uzoma. She used to be one of our partners. Oh. We entrusted her with a lot of of our documents, but unfortunately, she died without giving us back those documents. Oh, that's so sad. All right, that is not a problem. We can still, you know, look for the person's relative, brothers, sisters, parents, you know, relatives, anybody. Let's just call the person, tell the person that his or her sister is holding our documents, and the person bring it back. That's all. My daughter. Thank you very much. Don't worry. Okay? We are in this together. We are a team. Okay? We are going to get out of it eventually. Okay. But then, this has taught us a lesson. Going forward, we have to safeguard our documents and keep them in order to avoid situations like this. Mm -hmm. Okay? Don't worry, it's not your problem. Mm? I'll get through to it. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
So your vitals are great and um, your BP is good. So am um, I having a headache and uh, flashes of image? Have you been bothered or be concerned with anything of late? Work. You have to really take it easy on work because health is wealth. I know. That's how I know. Okay, so have you been able to reach the water threshold daily? That's five liters. <laughs> Doctor, to be honest, I have not. Uh, you're not able to reach that. Um, I'm afraid um, we'll have the option of intravenous dehydration, which is not good. I'll try. Thank you. I also suggest maybe you, you know, there are fruits with lots of water, so they could do fruit extractions for you. Watermelon, pineapples, oranges, they've got fluids. It can also help. Thank you very much. You know, I can't wait to see you fully happy and healthy without flashes and headaches. That's why I'm my doctor. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Um, I heard that Ada is back. Oh, yes. Um, I think she's at the lobby upstairs. Oh, okay. Um, you can see her there. Let me go and say hi to the little one. Ah. Thank you, sir. Hmm. Ah. What is that you do? What is the news? Um, I wanted three months, but I was given three weeks. Sounds like a good shot. <laughs> I was beginning to think so until um, I pressed, pressed and pressed on. And then I got um, one month through my contacts in there. We've been running this company for so many years. And not for one day has a FIRS came at us. Well, that is why they are called FIRS. They come when you least expect them. By the way, has anyone been able to contact Mrs. Uzoma's uh, relatives? No. Does anyone know you didn't start a company? Um, yes, yes. Uh, in fact, he's older than me in the company and um, he's been here. But he's just an ordinary staff, uh, Mr. Chinedu. Did anyone offend him? In any way, I mean, like um, his entitlement or anything. Did anyone offend him? Um, yes, some time ago he had some little problem with my wife and um, she insulted him badly. I had so, and I wasn't very happy about it. Uh, if I she even uh, kind of um, reduced his entitlement just to humiliate him. Too bad. Did you try to like resolve issues? I mean, um, like settle. No, 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 no. Before I could even uh, reach out to him, he has resigned out of anger. I'm afraid that could be our own doing. That's where the problem's coming from. ADA. Oh, <laughs> uncle. I'll let this graduate from. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So how is school? School's fine. How are you? You're not even looking at somebody who came back from boarding school. Why? No, it's stressful. Like. <laughs> but you're slain at miss it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just staring at the houses and I noticed some changes. Like the house, they've okay. completed it. You know, before I left, you know, the zinc, It was uncompleted. Yeah, it was uncompleted. You know, people are building every day. Mm -hmm. Housing is really a thing now. Houses you know. everywhere. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Sorry, um, I was meaning to ask you a question. Please do go ahead. Um, how does it feel like to be a doctor? 
Wow. I think it is incredibly rewarding to be a doctor okay. and, uh, because you get to see a lot of experiences, learn new things, um, save lives, which is most important. Yes. And, um, but it's very tedious. It's, it's taxing, sometimes exhausting, mm -hmm. but then it's worth it. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. You know, I really like to be a doctor just like you. <laughs> I feel so flattered, but then <laughs> your father thinks differently. He, he thinks that you should be able to take over the business when he's, mm. he's no longer there. I know. But you know, I really love science and I would love to help people, save people's lives and make life worth it. I know. And I really do appreciate the zeal. But then, you still have a long age ahead of you. Your decisions are going to evolve. You're going to want more things, different things, maybe. So, but the most important thing is that whatever that you desire and you want and you're passionate about, we will support you. What is most essential is that you do what makes you happy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. But then, have it in mind that you have to explore other options, right? Mm -hmm. But most importantly, you think of what benefits the family. Don't worry. I will explore other options like lawyer and the rest of them in the future. <laughs> but okay. for now, I just want to know the basics of being a doctor, you know? All right. I will be here to teach you, guide you, share with you my experiences. Really? Yes, for okay, real. Thank you. I'm here to fulfill your kid fantasies about being a medical doctor. <laughs> sure, definitely I will. Um, if I may ask, please, what's wrong with my dad? There is something called medical ethics, and that guides every medical practitioner in the world. Sorry to ask this question. Okay. Um, does that have to do with the question I asked? Yeah, patient's confidentiality. Okay. states that you do not share your patient's medical issues with anybody if they decide to keep it very private. Oh, I see. So if you share it with anybody, what will happen to you? If I share, the commitments will be that I lose my medical license. Oh, meaning you won't be a doctor anymore? Definitely right. Oh, that's so bad. Very. So did my dad tell you not to share? <sighs> yes, he did. Oh, no. You know what? Let's just be a secret between the both of us okay. and my dad. Okay. Just tell me what is wrong with him if I don't let anybody hear it, okay? Let's bring it to my ear. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> What was it? The girl just left here now. Mm. I sense anger in your voice. Yes. I've warned you say very to mind how you talk to people, but you won't agree with me. Now see the situation we are in. You are lost. FIRS is on us because of you. How me? How you, Mr. Chinedu, of course. That idiot. Oh, you still call him names after knowing that we are a Sioux. After all this, you still call him names. Uloma. Come you know on. that guy? Someone needs to put him in his place. Mm. So, because he knows the secret of our business, that is why he decided to do this to us. We have just three weeks. Just three weeks to settle all this or we are finished. But we filed for three months. And they gave us three weeks. And we are still here talking. What about the senator? Were you able to reach him? The senator is still very sick. He's not assessing <sighs> at the moment. Is there no way we can get access to the relative of that woman? The only one I know is the husband, the ex-husband, and he's late. He died two months ago. And you don't have access to the director of FIRS? Go there. Don't even go there. He reports directly to Mr. President. And the constitution gave him so much power. He's way above our league. 
you cannot bribe him. You cannot bribe him. I must be in your house. Then you better think fast. After dinner, I felt cold a little, okay. and then I thought it was because I got exposed to air conditioner a little too much. So I decided to come here and lie down and cover myself with a duvet. Okay, did you tell anyone? No, I think it was a minor case, so I just waved it off and slept. All right, so what did you eat last night? Rice and stew. Did you by chance eat any pork or seafood? Mm, no, my protein was chicken. But why do you ask? Is seafood bad? Not really. Some people are allergic to pork and seafood and um, oh. allergies symptomizes itself in different ways and high fever is one of them. Actually, I don't think I'm allergic to it. I've been eating it almost all my life and I've never reacted. It's okay. Um, since morning, have you felt any fever? Nope, I'm very strong. You know, the only reason I'm lying down here is because my mom told me to. I'm as strong as an eagle, but my mom doesn't want to let me fly. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. The love of a mother cuts really deep. <laughs> yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, I actually had a dream. Okay. High fever actually comes with dreams, so it's normal. But this one was... It was not like the normal dream we normally have, you understand? It was real. It was this woman. She just came to me. Yeah, she said her name was Ozoma. Ozoma. Yes, and then she... I, I First of all, I asked her who she is, and then she told me she is me. I got confused, because uh, I didn't even understand what she was saying. <laughs> I'm as confused as you are right now. <laughs> <laughs> but then, I think we'll have to watch it today and see what it is like. Okay. All right. And see if the fever comes back, the dream comes back, anything. All right. I pray it doesn't. Yeah, definitely shouldn't come. Oh, uh, can I ask, where are your parents? I officially became an orphan a few months ago. Oh. My only surviving parent died. Sorry, I'm so sorry to refresh the bad It's memory. okay. It's not your fault. She died when I was 16 years old. Mm. I just know that a woman gave birth to me and I never got to see her. Mm. So if I could become an adult to maybe search for her, or she went. So sorry about that. It's okay. So what about your other siblings? Maybe your brother or anybody? <sighs> I'm just alone in this world. Oh, don't say that. In fact, <laughs> I'm here with you. Okay? Oh, you just sounded like an adult. Right? <laughs> well, I'll be one very soon. Yeah, sure, definitely. But just take your time. Adulthood is really stressful. Oh, it is. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember in that dream, that woman gave me a lot of questions to ask my dad. Okay, so what are the questions? It's just for my dad. Dream ethics. <laughs> <laughs> Dreamers confidentiality. <laughs> uh, I won't hear the last of it. <laughs> okay. If it's okay. All right. Dramatics then. <laughs> so keep the ethics that, right? Yes. Okay, I understand. So what I'll do, I will go tell your mom. I will discharge you from lying down. Here. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. Finally, I get to. So you're good to go. You're healthy. Everything is okay. And um, you should stand up and do your normal things. But then this night, I'll call to know how you're feeling. Okay. Some money with all okay. your, the fever if it comes back. All right. And if anything is alarming, please. I'm just a call away. Okay. All right. Let me see your mom. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> I know we said it had a terrifying thing. Yes. And the dream actually seemed very real. So who did you tell? You know, mom has been tetlagged with this trip to Seychelles, so I told the doctor, but I told him a little about it. I didn't tell him the full story. What did he say? Yeah, he said because of the fever I had, I might, you know, be having those kind of dreams more often. Yeah, he's right. 
Mm -hmm. But I did not tell him that the woman in the dream told me to tell you that her name is Mrs. Uzoma Ike. What? And she also said that she has a document you're looking for and you will never find it. And then she said something that has to do with... Okay, I remember. She said the end from the beginning has started. Do you know her? Yes. She was my partner. The co-owner of the company before she died. Oh. But what did she mean when she said the end from the beginning has started? The doctor gave you any medication. No, Dad. He said the test showed nothing. And as you can see, I'm strong. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so, how do you intend to get the document from the dead? From the dead? Yes, Mrs. Uzoma from the dead. Hmm? Dad? Dad! What is... Dad! Dad! Dad, what, what, what happened to you? He's asleep at the moment, and I believe when he wakes up, he'll be fine. How well is he asleep? He's actually in a very deep sleep, and which is good for himself. So, stop. Doc. You should be in the best position to understand my condition. You are a doctor, and I've always had my eyes on you. Besides, how am I supposed to survive this month without being touched? He's very sick, and I think this is the best I mean it to. You see, Doc, we have a culture of celebrating every business success with love making, and my body is already used to it. You see, this trip to seashells is the biggest success story we've ever recorded. Please, help me think straight. Look, it is against the medical ethics that I sleep with my clients. I will build you a hospital so that you can determine your own ethics. Sorry, Emma. I have a girlfriend and I, I can't see myself cheating on her. Hmm. Girlfriend? You don't owe her faithfulness. See, I'm going to turn your life around. Sorry, ma. I'm so sorry. Look at you. This is what your mates are asking for, and you have it at the platter of gold. When your husband wakes up, please help him take the drug. Don't 10 p.m. precisely. I'll be on the way. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Good afternoon, Ada. How are you? I'm very, very fine. And you? Ah, you look every inch. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now tell me, I heard you made all A's in your wife. Congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. Mm. <laughs> and how about um, Jessica? How is she? Um, Jessica is fine. Always asking after you. But you know, you don't bring her here. Why? Ada, you know I always come here during business hour. Hmm? But never mind. One of these days, I'll come with her. Okay. Yeah. I really um, want to see my friend. Yeah, How about will. her wake? Hope she passed. Um, not yet. She'll be sitting for it next year. You yes. know you're on double promotion. Oh, <laughs> I 
totally forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot. Mm. And one more thing, sorry. Yeah. You know my dad is not feeling too well. Mm. So I want to ask if the maybe the meetings and the discussions you want to have with him can be transferred to my mom. Um on your dad not feeling well, I know, but your mom your mom is exceptional. But your dad makes a better decision. Oh, mm. I see. Yeah. <laughs> well, they told me that they're having a problem with the government about some, some papers. Yes, papers of incorporation. Oh. Yes. So, so this um, Mrs. Uzoma, mm. when they started this business, when they reached into agreement, mm. weren't you their lawyer? No. Miss Ida, at that time, they didn't have the money to afford the service of a lawyer. Oh. I guess they trusted each other so much that they decided to do without one. I see. Mm. Yeah. So, what's mm. the agreement like? You must have seen it. <laughs> um, it's 55-45%. Um, 55-45? percent ratio, yeah. Who owns the 55? Of course, the woman. She owns 55, oh. while your parents have uh, 45. I see. So mm. the woman originally owns the business. I thought you know already. No, I didn't. I didn't know. Oh, um, they didn't have an operational agreement. Oh. So when the woman died, your father took everything. Everything except that paper of incorporation? Yes. Oh. So, she's the sole owner of the business because your father partnership um, agreement did not reflect on the certificate of incorporation. So wait, just imagine the woman just comes out from nowhere now, miraculously. Or maybe if she has an heir mm. that we didn't know existed. <laughs> what? A, what will happen? <laughs> I'm afraid your father will lose the business. What? On what grounds? Since she died, my father has been putting all his energy in that company. He can't... That is why it is technical. But there's every possibility that he will lose the company. Oh, mm. why? Hey, young champ. You already have too much information for your age. I guess I have to run along now. Okay. But um, let's pray it turns out in the favor of your parents. Please, it hmm? will. It will. I'll see you some other time. Okay. Yeah. Please greet so, Jessica for me. It's okay. okay. I'll let her know. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Why should I? <coughs> I wasn't the one that initiated it. It wasn't my idea at all. Please. I know everything that happened, but you had the choice to save me. Yes. Yes, I know I am. Rather, you joined the act. So sad. You learned your mistakes so late. You allowed greed to come over you. I guess I wish. <coughs> <coughs> I wish I could take back and the times. You can't turn them. Chid, you allowed your wife, <coughs> the same woman I helped you to marry, to ruin your life. Can you tell me whose health is degenerating now? Please. What can I do? Just enjoy the show 
while it plays out in your rise. Please. Please, Susanna, please. Jade, I trusted you with my life, my vision, my company. You are the only one I was completely vulnerable to. Something that seems like a dream is now a reality. But I told you, I told you with the strategy we have at hand, mm. our restaurant will go the whole world. Mm. You are a genius. In fact, I don't regret knowing you. Thank Not you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so how is your fiancé? Oh, she's fine. Good. She sends her regards. Nice. Uh, but I hope you've told her they're going to spend six months in Port Harcourt just to stabilize their branch over there. Yes, I told her. Okay. But she's not too comfortable with the idea. But what do we do? Business is important. <laughs> well, I understand the need of a woman. But she can be visiting you. We have a, we've decided on that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I need to give her some pocket huh. money. That will encourage her. You can bribe her. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm a woman, so I know. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ah, honestly, in the next five years, with this strategy we have, our restaurant will travel the whole world. Hmm. <laughs> what a big dream. You haven't seen anything yet. You've not even seen the full picture. What is the full picture, please? Now, um, my vision is this. I want to take um, our cultural food to the doorstep of the world, just like the Chinese have done. I honestly, I can't wait to see the Caucasians, mm. the Asians, mm -hmm. see Nigerian jollof as a luxury food. Wow! <laughs> I really want our restaurant to be intercontinental. <laughs> Continental. That is it. This is just too <laughs> much. I'm wondering how we're going to achieve that. In fact, my head can't contain <laughs> it again. Come on, so very soon we'll be billionaires. Sure. Oh. We're going to be billionaires. <laughs> and um, in the next five years, yes. we'll travel. We want to take 20 states, but a step mm -hmm. at a time. Let's get to work. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you are something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honestly, uh, trust is the bedrock of every big dream. You're right. You trust me. Of course. Cheat with my life. You're the only one I'm vulnerable with. And that's why I don't see any need to get a lawyer to sign a partnership. Because I know money can buy you. Pledge my loyalty. I believe in the vision. In fact, I will carry it on my head and my chest. I trust you. I have no doubt in you. You're the ginger, my swag. Mm, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and will there be marriage again? No, 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 no. Not for now. I told you they took away my son from me. I don't even know what he looks like. Every day I feel his breath in my heart. And that's what's kept me going for now. Why not go to court? Court? Yes. <laughs> Wisdom is for you to know how to choose your battle, who you win and who will win you. What do you mean? Chid. My ex-husband's family are mafians. Now, um, it's a polygamous family of 20 men. 14 out of the men are lawyers. Amongst them, you have um, sons and judges. You have four doctors and you have drug lords. You can see, I, I stand no chance. Hmm. So what do we do? My 
short is to get successful. And when my son gets to 18 years, he can now look for his mother. And by then, all the old foes would have died and I'll get my victory without losing my life. Mm. That's wisdom. But the pain is too much. Yeah, love is pain, pain is gain. Let's get rich first, my friend, and partner. <laughs> um, why did he leave the marriage? Oh my God, here he goes again. Chid, story for another day, please. I, I, I know what I'm talking about. I understand how Olama feel, how she feels. The whole thing is telling on me. I know, but a, a woman who has no child, it's so painful. But I'm not pressurizing her. But the world is pressurizing her. The innocent kids on the streets are pressurizing her. Oh, no, the who, I mean, I can't even sleep in the night. Ah, she cries at night. No, we look for child every <laughs> night. In fact, it is now a hard labor. But I thought I thought men love sex, you know, served three times in a day. I just wish you had my shoes. You won't. In fact, it is now a real punishment. Honestly, you won't even enjoy what you're doing. Now you are feeling me. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but, um, jokes apart, um, chill. But have you guys thought about um adoption? Because most times when you adopt kids, couples, you know, they, they bring they bring about kids. When you adopt, the children comes. Yeah, I have not thought of that, but I think I'm going to suggest it to her. Better. Although she was actually talking about IVF, mm -hmm. which I wasn't, I'm not too comfortable with. But if it becomes the last option, what do I do? Oh. But <laughs> you guys, they have many years ahead of you, so. I don't know why you're being bothered. I wish you no, I wish you had this. Oh. Well, let's forget that. Let's talk about other things. Yes, the yes. regional managers have sent in their reports. Oh. And oh. Uh, I have to go through them and update you later. Oh, really? Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. You know? <sighs> <laughs> but, but, Ulaku, you should know that you are my only sibling on earth. Honestly, I'm so, so proud of you. And I mean, thank you for all that you do for me. Your kind is rare. Without you, none of this would have happened. But I promised Father that I will give you the best, the best I couldn't get. Thank you for all your sacrifices. You know what? Just be done with all your final exams so that you can take part of the business. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I can't wait to get into the real field of life. Really? Yes, I can. My dear, just enjoy yourself. But remember, adulthood has come, oh, but never mind. Your path is already prepared. You have everything for you. Thank you. Um, I think you should contact your ex, at least for my nephew. Look, you know what? I contacted him and he's still stubborn. His ego still has a better part of him. Anyway, I just dropped the bonds for him, for my son's schooling. Do you mean you're paying for school fees? No, I just dropped the funds so that at least my son will know that his mother's funds is still part of his upbringing. Oh good, sister, you're smart. Uh-huh, why not? It runs in the blood. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind him. <laughs> We honestly, we've done so well for ourselves. Just a matter of years. Yes. In fact, we've done beyond our imagination. Like I, like I told you, things are about to blow up. Um, what do you know about Dubai? That's the most beautiful city for tourism in the world. And millions of people trooping there for vacation. Tourism and food are like brothers and sisters. No, don't blow my mind. Don't tell me the vibes are this stuff. Exactly. <laughs> Our first international expansion. The possibilities are so high because of the number of people who go there for visits. Hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
So we are meeting the whole world in one place. Now you are thinking straight. So, that is my duty. Now, um, get ready. We are taking a trip to Dubai. Mm. I have already contacted um, our associates who will provide us um, properties to look at. Thank you very much for including me your vision. Our vision. Um, how is Oloma? Hmm. She's losing it. Really losing it. Since after her miscarriage, nothing else matters to her. In fact, I've seen the darkest side of her that I never existed. Oh, that's marriage for you. Marriage has the capability of bringing out the darkest and the brightest side of a person. But never to worry, she will come over it. All you need to do is have patience with her, okay? Hmm. Thanks for your advice. You're welcome. So you are here crying. <laughs> you are here crying. Hola, your tears cannot do anything. To so think I'm, 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 I'm everywhere to make life easy for you. And you are busy frolicking. Hola, you. You. <laughs> I am sorry, sister. I know I have failed no, you. No, you failed yourself, not me. You failed yourself. You don't even have an idea of what you've bargained for. Hola, in case you don't know, pregnancy journey is not an easy one. Okay? It's not an easy one. You. He said he loves me and I trusted him. Love. Love. Love with your head. When you love, you think of the future, okay? I'm 100% disappointed at you. Well, like I'm disappointed. Please, I am sorry. Huh? You're telling me sorry. It's you that will tell sorry. It's you. Well, like, sorry for yourself because you don't even have an idea of what you bargained for. Well, like, I am very, very much disappointed at you. Honest, I'm disappointed. You. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love me. <laughs> I have failed you and I have failed myself. <laughs> oh, please. I need you to stay alive <laughs> and fight this denial. <laughs> Look, this guy doesn't deserve you. A guy that could not even take responsibility of his actions. <sighs> I never thought, I never thought things would turn out this way. <laughs> it's okay. I'll be here for you, okay? <laughs> You won't go through this journey alone. I'll always be with you here, okay? <laughs> I love you, sister. I don't know what I would have done without you. <laughs> I love you too, Olak, okay? I'll always be with you. I will fight no matter how hard it is. I will always do it with you, okay? <laughs> I want to ask for a favor from you. Why are you sounding like that? What favor? You know, Olako is my only sister. I want to put her in your care. Please take care of Olako for me. What is the problem? Why are you sounding this way? Jude, I can't afford to see her so far anymore. Please, take care of her for me. I have days, some days to leave. My lungs, my kidneys have collapsed. Doctor said I was poisoned. By who? I don't think I'll live to know who did. But please, I trust you. Take care of Olaku for me. Take her like her own daughter. Take her like your own sister. Please. 
Please, I beg of you. You know what? When I come back, I will come to your house and see you immediately. I hope you will meet me alive. Bye. So, um, what's the fate of my dad? Your dad is still having those trans episodes. Oh, God. So what can we do to stop them? I think therapy will do a great job. But he's, he's not open to it. Why? Because I think he actually knows what the trans is all about. And um, maybe he doesn't want any other person to know. Like a secret, huh? So did you try to suggest the therapy to him? I've done that countless times. I've even told your mom, but all fell on deaf ears. Your mom has been reluctant about it, so that's it. I don't. And yes, I had that dream again. What was it about this time? This time I was discussing with Mrs. Suzoma. Okay. And then another woman came in. I stood up and ran to her like she was my mom. And I hugged her tight. But when I got closer, I realized that she was not my mother. Though it was weird. Um, Mrs. Susama called her Ulaako. Ulaako. Yes. Okay, so um, this lady you ran to thinking is your mother. When you, when you realized she wasn't your mother, did you feel any way like absolute? <laughs> the funny thing is, I didn't feel any way weird. I was just okay. It was comfortable in her arms, you understand? It was just good. But before the woman came, right. we were discussing about you. Me? Yes. <laughs> That's so scary right now. How did I make it to your dream? I don't know. The discussion wasn't that clear. You know how dreams are. But I think... I think it was something about your girlfriend. Or something My like that. My girlfriend? Yes, you have one. Of course, I do have a girlfriend, but oh. I don't think it's, she's really into me. Why is that? <sighs> okay, she is always complaining that I don't have enough money to take care of her. Mm -hmm. Always comparing how her friends are being spoiled, trips and gifts, you know, by their boyfriends, but I've not been able to do all this stuff. Mm. So... I don't think she's. So do you think she'll leave you? Definitely. Once she finds a rich dude, I think she will disappear. Why not leave her first since you know that once she finds a rich person, she will leave you? Just. It is easier said than done, Ada. I really, really do love her. I do. Mm, I see. Suit yourself then. And one boy is in my meal asking me to be his girlfriend. So, what did you say to him? I told him no, of course not. Why would I have a boyfriend at this age? No. That is a very incredible great decision mm -hmm. you can make. It will be a distraction. Big one. <laughs> Don't worry, you have all the time to have. But right now is not a bad time for a boyfriend, right? Yes. Let's so get it. Team 88. No distractions. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll be rushing to the hospital. Okay? You're going? Yeah, sure. Alright, let me just. That would be so kind of you. Okay. What is the latest update? Um, the aspiration of one month is in seven days' time. Maybe in ten days' time, it'll start setting up from different um, states and different branches. And then we'll start going to court? Yes. Maybe a case or a good play bargain in court. But then, how long will the business remain sealed? You know, you can't do other businesses with a sealed business. But then, we have successfully detached the money laundering business from the restaurant business. I mean, can't it function on its own? 
what what should we do? Well, no knock on finding the papers, no brothers, sisters, just nothing from the dead woman. The woman and her sister were orphans. Mm. So it's like a journey to nowhere. Mm. I think I will file for lots of papers. And then um, if it shows up in the future, that could be a problem. Anyway, I think you should just go ahead and do whatever you think that you can do if we eventually find, um, f find the papers or they find it, we'll handle it. It's all right. Um, but don't you think you can still explore the influence of the senator? Oh, that is a no-go area. Currently, the senator is indisposed. He's, oh. he's been sick. And then, you know, the relationship of that senator and the FIRS director is in bad shape, you know, because of what transpired in the last election. They're in, you know, this political tussle. Yeah. And in fact, it's not an option. Let's, let's let it fly. It's all right. I, mm. I'll just work on the existing plan. Please. That's it. Go ahead and do whatever you can to ravage the situation. We can't deal with a sealed business. It's okay. Never mind. Um, we'll find a way around it. Right. That's the way. Okay. I hope to hear from you soon. Yeah, sure. You sounded so urgent on phone, Doc. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. You're welcome. Sit down. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. It's, um, it's actually about the other day. What other day? In fact, it never existed. And if you want to stay in this job, erase the other day from your memory. Yeah, of course. The other day never happened. The sexual order did never. But the other day that I took your blood samples and everyone in this family actually did happen. What about the sample? I've not had the presence of mind to think about it deeply. Think about what? Ada's blood group does not match neither yours nor your husband's. What are you talking about? She's AB negative. What's AB negative? Is the rarest blood group in the whole wide world. Only one person out of the six million people actually has AB negative. That's strange. Very strange. And the strangest part is that you're O positive. Your husband is O positive and she's B AB negative. There's only one thing that is consistent here. Maybe that she's not your child. What nonsense are you talking about? She must have gotten it maybe from her grandparents, my parents. No, ma'am. Blood groups are not inherited from grandparents. Genes, yeah, can be traced back to grandparents. But blood groups are inherited from biological parents, immediate parents. Of course. There must be something. So, which took my mind in a very wide range of thoughts. There are a whole lot of shenanigans in the medical field. Child birth theft replacement so i'm thinking maybe a medical practitioner actually exchanged your baby your male child and gave it to a couple that is looking for a male child and took their girl child and gave it to you Stop it is happening talking rubbish i'll be upstairs what i i just said things that are happening things that are happening to you not me And how are you? Is your dad ready for me now? I think he's sleeping, so you have to wait for some time. Okay. Mm, yes. 
My mom told you not to tell me about my blood group. And you agreed. I can't remember such an agreement with your mother keeping a secret from you. Actually, she never told me about it. So how did you know about the blood group? I thought medical ethics has to do with patient's confidentiality. You're right about that. But your case is quite peculiar. You're a teenager and under the care of your parents, so they know, they have the right to know your medical reports. I see. To enable them to take decisions on your medical issues as a Okay. That's really nice. How about your mom? I think I told you that she's dead. So have you um, tried to make research on how she died, who killed her, and, and even where she is from? My father told me that... My father told me that she was poisoned by somebody unknown. Somebody unknown? I know that she's from Imo State, Ihiagwa in Omuchima village precisely. That is the much that I know. So this Omuchima village that you talk about, have you been to that place? No. I have not been there because the only surviving sibling of my mother died months after she died. So there is nobody to take me there. But come on, why all these questions? Though your mother is dead, but she still lives. Come on, what do you mean by that? He took you away from me when you were 10 months old. <laughs> Come off it, Ada. You're just 14 years old. Your father's name is Stephen Mbamara. He has 19 brothers. Your 14 uncles are he works as a government contractor and also a drug syndicate. But that particular one is hidden. Ada, how did you know about my father? How on earth did you know about my uncle? Your grandmother gave you the name you found me. And your blood group is A negative, which is also one of the rarest blood groups. And that is your greatest secret. Stop playing. Who are you? You came again. Because I want answers. Your friend says you're a very good person, so answers will be very easy to come. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for seeing me. So can I ask? Go on. There is this little girl. She's the daughter of my client. She has repeatedly said that she is my mother, and it's beginning to be a thing to worry about. But she said the truth. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sir. Um, <laughs> we're talking about a child of 14 years old. She's only about 14. There is something called reincarnation. She is a reincarnated spirit of your mother. And she has the knowledge of the past. Through the portal your mother opened for her. Could you remember a certain time when she had this mysterious and very strange sickness. I mean, it was malaria, but... Yeah, I know. There's this high fever that she had. You know, I did everything. It was restless for me. I ran several tests. But medically, she was okay. But the fever was very persistent. This fever lasted like 24 hours. Then afterwards, she was okay again. Was... Till today, I don't have an explanation to that fever. That was the way her portal was opened from the other side. No, 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 sir. Take it easy. Sir, 
this is really, really getting scary. So, in other words, <laughs> I have been dealing with a ghost. Your father got married to your mother so many years ago. But your father was a drug syndicate. He belonged to the cartel. And they asked him to choose between family and business. Why? I believe family was a liability. Um, your father was so, so smart. And so when you came into this world, he ran away with you. Your mother knew exactly what was going on. But she had to keep calm so you could leave. But unfortunately, unfortunately, your mother died in the hands of those she trusted and loved so much. Who are they? Your mom? She was a very good woman. A virtuous woman at that. On the gate of departure, she made a request. But because she was a fantastic woman, the gatekeepers granted her request. What was her request? She requested that she might come back to this world with the memory and knowledge of the past. And then she came in through your auntie, her only sister who was pregnant at that time. Wow. It's adding up a little bit. Was that the reason why she died so that she might leave? No. Ah, she was killed. She died so that Ada's parents could have a child. Oh, Lord. Really? Is that the reason why the blood group does not match? You have answers to your questions. No. What do I do? My work here is done, and your destiny is in your hands. One last question, sir. Who are those that killed my mother? May the gods be praised. No, no, no. So, sir. I'm reincarnated. Do you realize that this is my mother? What? what? 